Where are you supposed to look at stuff? Oh, are we commentating? Yeah, you're commentating on the dress. Are we talking right now? Okay. Can they uh, hear us? Probably. <laughs> Production value. All right, so Zola is gonna be drafting first. It makes sense. I think he doesn't have the. He didn't buy the curse, right? Zola did. He did not. He did buy it, didn't it? Did opt out of it. Orange did. Admirable did, and somebody else did. Chucky. Chucky. So Zale is gonna have his last ten cards of his draft completely wrecked. I hope so. Rogue, all right. It's not a bad thing, but if you got like ten blind cards at the end, not bad, not bad. It's like Rogue's really good for tempo, so it's a pretty good pick. Reckoning. Yeah. Uh, Blade. Probably. People actually. Although assassinate's in better arena. in arena, yeah. In arena, assassinate's better. Oh, Fanatic is good. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, I just want to see what the last ten picks you'll have will, will yeah, be, yeah, yeah. right? Like, that's kind of the oh, cracking. Cracking is fucking op. A freaking op. Sorry. You said a bad word. I know. I can't. I thought you were the experienced commentator. I'm not at all. No, oh, I'm not no. at all. Okay, so. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be really PG thirteen. Do it. So Mad Bomber Dang. is a very good card. Mad Bomber is a very exciting card here. Ogre Brute here okay, with so the occasional mess up. Uh, I want to say. It's called River Master Croc, of but I like Scarab a ton in... It's just such a bad tempo card, and Rogue plays for tempo in Arena, right? When you draft. I think he's gonna take the Call Master. Yep. Yeah, if he needs a little bit of card draw, it's fine. Well, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> oh, if that was in the middle, hit it. That yeah, that would've been exciting if he didn't pick it. Oh, three mana do nothing. I love that card. Yeah, it's well, all right. it's alright, though, in Arena, because they actually can't answer the 4-4 four four ever. I love it. It's so fun. Doomsayer is no! okay for tempo, like if you Three if you're, you're behind. Do nothing. You don't like it. I wanted to see it beneath the grounds. I like seeing. South Sea's okay. Often. I actually like like South Sea and Burly are both okay here, but being that it's Rogue, South Sea's obviously better. You're nice, an another assassinate. Okay, you can't take a third one, otherwise he gets skamazed. Yeah, he takes a third one, it costs him points and a muzzle. And a muzzle, exactly. Yeah. I'm not switching a card in your deck sounds like the worst thing ever. You just take a, <laughs> no, a Kraken and put a Alarm Bot or something, right? Well, he has to take the other Assassinate, right? Because he gets to he has to remove the other copy of Assassinate. No, no, no. Out no. of the deck. That's the point. You you want a third Assassinate, so I'm not just gonna remove something that's not Assassinate. But you can't put it. You can't put a third because you can't play with the deck against anybody else. Oh wait. So yeah, because they have to redraft this afterwards and construct it to play against. Wait, each why would other, they pay right? points to try to get a third? Well, if they try to get a third, they mess up basically, oh, it's right? A mistake. So it's okay. a mistake. They, they're not allowed to draft the same the same card three times. Like keep like keep okay, yeah, them yeah, on yeah, three yeah. times is not allowed. Um, Silverback pitch right here is like the like the bomb, right? Obviously, goodness, <laughs> those drafts. Your hero power costing so, one is a rogue. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's not. That's a sick uh, sick draft though. I like that. Now the thing is, like he's nearing the twenty cards, right? He doesn't know what he needs to round up the deck. Oh, one more card. Kodo's Kodo. good. Kodo's really good. Okay, now. Now. Wait, someone just putting their hand on okay. the card. Okay. They, they, that means they, they hid whatever was in the middle for the future draft. Okay. So and he here can't we go. See the he does not see the priestess, but he okay. picks up the fires anyway. Oh, goodness. Uh, he's That's that like. Time. No, 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 no. I like that. Oh. I like that animation. Oh, he's uh, not. So he's, gonna take it. he's gonna take it. He's, he's gonna, gonna take it blind. Well, I mean, reckless is okay though, right? Like you can make an argument. I for want reckless. him to take it blind. If he does it though, he's gonna be so happy when he sees it come out, right? Take it. It's a two drop. It's all, I mean, reckless is fine. He needs six drops. It, it's damage. It's uh, all right. It's all right, man. It's all right. No balls though. We like balls, right? Uh, maybe you do. Oh man. Oh wow, he's gonna take oh, it. Like, <laughs> come on. Oh no, he didn't take the bunny it's card. Funny to Can you imagine? If we have a choice of the exact <laughs> same card but one less man. Oh, it would have been so sick. Well, I'll is okay. Uh, it's a bad card. Cult master as a second one. Like, would you pick it? I mean, I, I think I'd consider it. It's okay. Uh, uh, I hope he... Wow. I hope he just goes for the middle one and it's the worst card. Yeah. Well, I mean... Well, in this situation, it's not It's not bad. exactly the bad the bad one. Wind Fury just doesn't appeal to... Bam. The arena player. And does he do it? He's gonna curve perfectly. He picks a three drop. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Let's see it. Tiny Finn. That's Tiny me. Finn. Here we go. We gotta do this. Well, he's not taking Sinister Strike. He might, he'll take Cultmaster. Nah, he'll take Tiny Finn. I, like, he doesn't want another cult. He's taking Well, actually, yeah, he does have, like, two Ogre he Brutes. Defias. He's got three... Yeah, he's got, like, a ton of three drops. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, he took War Golem. Okay. This guy's got... It's not too bad, right? The penalty didn't hurt him too much. Yeah, okay, he can't take Assassinate. Or um, he gets Skamazed. 
Because he has two. Yeah, cards. he has to take Direwolf from middle card. Oh, wow. Perdition's Blade so good. Okay, the penalty almost did nothing to delay, to be honest. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. So he saved 500 points for later. Yeah, possibly more even, because, right, like, it would have cost him 2k if he wanted the extra. Uh, Raptor over Blade. Okay. Not a bad draft, honestly. Like, he's got a lot of two drops, three drops. And the fact that he's got two Colts with a ton of minions beforehand means he's probably going to be able to draw off of them. I like this deck. Wait, wait, wait. That one screenshot covered the whole deck? Uh, that was the first. I, I hope so. I heard someone saying, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, well, it's a no, we're, we're probably okay. Yeah. I think he's fine. Yeah. It was an okay deck. Yeah. Like, 6 out of 10. Look how plain this is. No backstab, no Abyss, though. No backstab, no Abyss, no deadlies. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not exciting. No spells. What was the thing uh, um, that we had going on for uh, the draft? Like, if they end up picking the wrong card twice, they lose, what, 500 points per card? If they overdo it? Oh, you're saying if they pick the third one? Yeah, if they pick the third one. They only they lose 100 points, but then Amaz can change it to yeah. any card in the game, so he would just give you the worst card ever. All right, so it looks like uh, Mage is going to be picked, which makes a lot of sense. Pretty good. Uh, so are we watching Zelay draft two decks? He's going to draft, uh, I think, two decks. And his uh, like Some the people, people who took the three. curse, uh, who bought the advantage at least, this Kamaz deal, right? They're going to get three decks instead of two. So it gives them a little bit of an edge. Oh. Well, okay. Which one of these sucks less? That's all right. Zelay is getting pretty okay decks. The thing is, like, his rogue deck is missing a ton of spells, and his mage deck is going to have to find some kind of AoE at some point to be, like, a really solid one. It's coming. Uh, I mean, you don't really need AoE if you just get, like, amazing minions on curve. Uh, but even though stuff like Direwolf Alpha and the Huntkeeper are okay, they're not, you know, they're not going to carry you necessarily, because the tempo is really small. All right, he has Mad Scientist with no secrets yet. Yeah. Maybe one of the last 10 cards in the middle block to be a secret. <laughs> it's going to be Effigy. Ah, Blizzard's good. First AoE picked up there for Zelay. It's pretty good. Um, well, I'm just excited for the Jeopardy stuff. Yeah, I want to get to the trivia part. Like, there's so much coming, though. Like, there's so much coming for the event. Like, you guys don't know the first thing. You think this whole blind picking is remotely entertaining? Nope. Okay, he did pick Effigy. Oh, you said it wasn't even remotely entertaining. That's messed up. <laughs> no, but like compared to the rest. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna get fired. That's fine. I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to cast this. Aspirant over Senjin, probably. Explosion or Snow Chugger? I think it's hard to pick anything but Snow Chugger. I like his deck so far. Are we. So, uh, are we watching them all play. Their all matches. their arena drafts before we do any of the Jeopardy? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, the, the, there's a lot happening before we get to the Jeopardy part. But it like is the today? Part. Yes, today is going to be a lot of uh, quizzes and stuff. You'll see how much people... Like, Zelay told me he practiced a bit, right? He knew the... Uh, he knows the number of the gorilla bot. I'll just put it that way. Oh, what if that, that's actually one of the questions, is it? Shh. Oh, okay. He knows. Everyone keep it on the down low. Yeah. Nobody say it. Okay, so you got the Elven Archer and Mage is actually not half as bad as it looks, but when you've got the opportunity to pick an ooze, it's hard to say no. He's getting the thing he's like he's getting the to the. He has so many twos. Yeah, that's the thing. It. Yeah, exactly. Still the best card. Yeah. Does he have Max? Yeah, uh, no Chugga. You got Chugga and and that and that's it. <laughs> that that's really it. He's still he's still gonna take it. I think. Next card is like when he starts picking blind, right? Yeah. Oh man. All right. So this is the pick that he knows. The last pick he knows is the middle card for. I'm just so excited about that. <laughs> uh, so I guess he could pick up a three drop since he needs to curve out. Yeah, he does go for it. Um, he probably wants more three drops given the way that he's been drafting. So server hand region looks pretty appealing. And man, he keeps drafting the middle just cards fine. are bad. Oh, oh middle cards oh, good. Okay. okay. Yeah. But Mad Bomber's good too. He's he got so many twos though. He doesn't want more twos. He doesn't want. More, he just doesn't want more twos. I think. But Mad Bomber's all right. I want to see some it's yellow really middle picks. Yeah, dude. So that has no balls. Yeah, it's all right. Not everybody needs no to have balls. Some. Can you hear that? I, I think that. so. You said a bad word. I feel balls? offended. Yeah, I sexually identify as attack helicopter. And I do not have balls. So well, I, I feel I mean, offended. Balls can just describe Bowling something you balls. use for to play. You know. Oh man! 
<laughs> Whoa! Now that's a draft. Now this is where if he doesn't go middle, Bam. Whoa! Makes the call. Well done, mate. Well done. That was like an instant pick too, because the alternatives were so so bad. Well done. Too bad it wasn't like Millhouse in the middle. <laughs> or Walker Cho. Let's let's make it happen. I don't know. He, he, he got a really good deal out of his mid card. Yeah. He's smiling. He's having a good time. You know what they should have done, though? It's not mid, but, like, you hide the ones on the side. Like, that would have been even cooler, right? Like, he keeps just drafting okay cards. Zelda's just, yeah, whatever. I'll take Teacher. I don't have a ton of spells, but I've got enough to make this work. Last card. Mm -hmm. Oh. Chris Zell can be useful in some he cases. He has two scientists. But he actually does, wants Effigy. Yeah, but he doesn't know it. Oh, you can accident. I get it now. You can accidentally pick a third of a card when you can't see. Yeah, and then, I, I, you, I just, and then you get punished. I just didn't get it. I was like, are they really going to accidentally pick a third? <laughs> <laughs> it's possible, yeah. Uh, I, can see, I can see the fail fishes in chat now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even... Uh, I, you didn't see the point of it? Yeah, I really wanted to see like the side cards hidden. And the one in the middle is the only one that you see. That way there's a lot more chance for mess-ups, right? That would have been cooler. Okay, Frodan gave me some casting tips. What did he say? Avoid terms that imply gender, ethnic background, age, religion, politics, sexual orientation, and drugs. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... See, I'm having trouble just forming sentences without using any of those words. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Okay, so... I have, I have, I, I, uh, I we're having a swell time out here at the Archon event. Wow. You can't say house cup because that's pretty offensive to me. Yeah. Uh, you don't like cups? It's a house problem. Yeah. Uh, you don't have a house. So, yeah, it reminds you of your... Uh, uh, you had, you I, had, I grew up in the slums, man. Yeah, like, you had I can't, time growing up. Yeah, my political background involves a lot of poverty, mm. so I'm just like... Okay, so... House, no cups. You know, that's definitely sexual. We've heard that. Um, you can't mention that. No, you can't. Okay. You can't say those words. Mm. Who's next drafting, right? We've got to have someone else. It's going to be Trump, right? It's Trump. Okay, so Trump's drafting next. He's like the arena lord. A lot of people say wonder, he's kind of lost. He might his, take uh, a long time for pick. Yeah, probably. But like, he, I like people say, sucks, I like these little not. pictures up there, up there. I like purple, who looks like actually Trump. <laughs> like purple looks like a white Trump on this image. Yeah, purple looks nothing like that. <laughs> and Shocky looks like a purple who just was turned sideways. So it's like Trump and J like I don't know how did that happen. The best pictures are admirable, the most accurate pictures. Orange is oh, orange is all right. And Trump actually. Yeah, Trump's okay. But like everybody right. else is like a, a dog doesn't look like dog. It's like an Afro man. Is that a is that a hat or? He looks like Harrison Jones. What? Yeah, but like what was the? No, that's a hat. Yeah. Why, why is he wearing a hat? I have never seen dog wear a hat. Looks you can make him like sip some bourbon, I guess. Oh, Trump. Wait, that's Trump. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing it. Oh, Shocky looks like Trump. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> great stuff. Great stuff. All right. So Trump's gonna pick a mage, a flame waker, or no balls. Yeah, definitely. There's no question about that. Um, did Trump take? Like, I know this Trump took the advantage. This Kamaz deal, right? Yeah, this Trump. But can see all I don't stars. know if the real Trump took this Kamaz deal. Oh, flame cannon. Uh, this is a good deck so far. Good lord. All right, it's just fleshing itself out even better. This could become like a tempo mage. Oh my god. Conjurer. Are you serious? What? Sorcerer's Apprentice. <laughs> are you kidding me? Okay, wait, wait, what do we need? Are we, we playing Constructed? Uh, Frostbolts, man. Okay, never mind. That's dead. The dream is dead. You still have a 7 drop? It's like the Archmage Antoninus uh, or the... Oh, no way. the poor. Uh, uh, Crusader's alright. You can do a lot of work with it if you just nail a uh, semi-decent card. Uh, usually, like, Mage is able to take the Grand Crusader on the board, and then, because everybody's afraid of extending on 7, you end up having the board taken, because they traded with the Grand Crusader not to lose uh, their entire board. Interesting. That was one of the 3 mana 3-4. I would have thought maybe you'd consider it. Spellslinger uh, looked alright there, but... On his first option to pick Mirror Image, he took Lepernum. He took Mirror, Lepernum, Mirror Image yeah. is actually pretty good, because it's, it's like he has Tempo Mage going on. But, I mean, Mirror Image isn't a good card in a unit. In general. Yeah, Evil Heckler is kind of okay. Like, where Booty Bay Bodyguard is unplayable, Evil Heckler actually is a decent 4-drop. Good vanilla card in Pit Fighter there for 5-drops. Kvalia Raider can be absolutely disgusting, but he might want 2-drops uh, that actually do something. Oh, she's going to take a 3-2. Alright, it's a bit uh, sketchy. That's harder. 
Yeah. They probably are can go still. They just play a later game as removal or something. Yeah, Cobra is a pretty good deterrent against a lot of decks though in arena. Forces people to play really awkwardly around it. That's tough, but you need two drops. Zombie Chow's good, but not Zombie better Chow's than a two too. drop. Yeah. Zombie Chow is like the only card that starts with the letter Z, I think, in the game. Oh, good trivia question. Yeah, I don't think it's... Is it actually? I don't think it's in there, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Hmm. Yeah. I think you're right. No Mission Venture. So this deck's missing Fireballs, but it's already got two Forgotten Torches. What's the first card you can think of starts with the letter W? Uh, Wobbling Runs? X. With X? Yeah. Xariel the Poison Mine, but that's like a new one, right? Wow. It's like the only one that I can think of. That was pro. Yeah. Ethereal Conjurer is a pretty good card. He's like, he's actually playing... Card that starts with the letter Y. Young Priestess. Not Priestes. a new one. Okay, that was yeah. good. Young Priestess. <laughs> young Dragon Hawk, you might as well just go there, right? Just yeah, everything, w without the word Young. That'd without be, the that'd word be a trivia question. Yeah, without the word Young, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Good lord. Yogg's or no, it's a new can't one. Yogg's yeah, you're right. Like, I can't do it. Um, do you know one? Yep. <laughs> you're full of shit. Rick <laughs> 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 full of uh, I absolutely know one, Nox. No, you don't. Uh, I'm thinking, there's got to be one, right? There has to be one. Uh, Legendary with some kind of Y. Right? Yo, mama. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that, oh, is that, politically, that is politically incorrect. I don't have a mother and I feel offended. So, Shocky actually is going to be Wait. opening up his uh, chest reward for... I thought that was Trump. Well, I, it's not my fault. Oh, we have packs open. Yeah. You're just going to leave those packs there? Yeah, you got to. Damn. For the sake of the fluidity of the stream. Let's see what he takes. Pretty sure a lot of people pick Rogue uh, in this spot just yeah, because it's so good. Let's see if he gets so backstabs in Abyss. The thing is, like, he gets to pick Drake, every Drake, single Drake, Drake, card. Drake. Yeah. He gets to choose every single card he wants. Oh, that's a tough one. That's They're all good. They're all great, yeah. To win games quick, if you play like an aggro control rogue, the tiger does a ton of work. So. Smith. Can be tough to make that call. I kind of like the deck he's got going on. If he picks up like enough removal for the early game. It just needs those backstabs though. That's a bit awkward. Sure, it's fine. Yeah, it's not the most exciting, but it's all right. With Spider Tank, that Mech Warp, it looks pretty good. You have a good reason to go all in on mechs. You play a lot of Arena? No, no, never. Do you play a lot of Hearthstone? I play some Hearthstone. Okay, probably more than me, even. Probably, yeah. 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 Just new cards are going to come out already. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see that happen. I feel like, like they announced it a little too early. Because once they announced it, you're just waiting, and I, I assumed it... Uh, it was coming sooner than it was, you know? Yeah. New season came out, I was like, oh. It's like the Final Fantasy 15 announcement. I don't know if you saw that, but they were like, it's coming real soon. They're like, it's in a few months. And everybody just... Yeah. Yeah, kind of, like the hype died right then and there. Um, okay, so I'm getting a... I'm getting a shocky bit of glitch. here. Yeah. Shock, like Trump is frozen in, in time. <laughs> is, is Trump dead? Oh. Oh, oh. it moved. Okay, Trump okay. is tr Trump's alive. Deadly Poison. See, that's good. Like, Deadly Poison there is really the card he was looking for here, I think. Um, I think he'd be pretty happy with, a, like, a mech. Another type of mech for the early game. Celsius great in Arena. Well, we can well, see all of Amaz's Sky Messages ever. Yeah. I, there's some really sketchy stuff in there. Oh, my God. Yeah. He doesn't act like... We can tell here that he doesn't come up with Jepperino himself. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my god, Amaz, that Skype conversation. Wait, what if we just stop commentating the cards and just commentate his Skype conversations? Yeah. He's gonna run in here and stop us? So $10... Do it? <laughs> so, so no references to drugs. Wait, oh, wait, clever. Okay, wait, wait. We lock his door. Yes. We're in Amaz's room, by the way. We lock his door. Yeah. Uh, blackmail him. He has to give us... Some money. My, how much money? Um, or we're gonna three read fitty, all... 3 50 we're gonna three read fitty. all his conversations. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right. Okay. Oh, that one looks that one looks sneaky. Yeah. Oh man. What are they talking about there? Per ounce? Really? That's expensive. It really is. Okay, let's get back to this. Um <laughs> six more cards. 
Uh, 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 I, I like the Warsong Commando on the right, but I'll take a Storm by Commando. Now, this is a really sketchy deck. Like, it's got so many 5 drops. This guy's curving with more 5s than... I don't Someone know, has I... a lot of 5s. <laughs> Bam! Oh, you nailed it, you nailed it. Yeah, I have to give it to you. He wants another 5 here, but he doesn't want to. Because he's got too many. Yeah. Like, you kind of have to take Flesh Eating for the curve, but then you've got Heal Bot to save yourself in case you need 5s later. It buys you time. Although the double Drake deck is pretty stupid OP. Oh, oh my another god, five. another good 5 drop. Oh, take the 5 or no balls. No, uh, that was good for curve. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Not bad? Alright. Yeah. Playable. Yeah. That was a good deck. But the conversations were really like... That was something. I really didn't know I'm on stream than here. Yeah, well, he only has two monitors. I don't know how he does it. You guys should see his mic. Yeah. Maybe it's a good, but does it, do we sound good? Well, we probably do. I mean, Amos keeps saying it's one of the best mics. Every single show, time I see show it. Show them the mic. Uh, no, I can't You're do that. You're scared to touch it? No, uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> I kind of am. Okay. Uh, touch it on no balls? I'm not, I'm not down for that. I did once, and I, I had to wash. Looks like... Uh, Shocky's gonna go for the Paladin. So he gets to, to draft three decks, right? And he picks the two out of the three that he wants. So the Rogue deck with the high curve, he can always discard if he feels like it's not worth it. Um, which is one of the things about this advantage that he picked up earlier that was good. Because he started with 5k Moz points that he spent uh, a bit of just to get the advantage of being able to see the full draft. And also have an extra deck. So he's got the flexibility of throwing away whatever he thinks sucks at the end of the, right. uh, at the, end of the round. It needs to end up being worth it for him that he spent so many points, because the points do a lot later. Yeah, the points are worth quite a bit. The players don't know yet exactly what the points entail. They have but, no idea. Yeah, they don't know, but it's going to be a really big deal. Uh, especially since each event that we'll have today is going to basically give people the ability to purchase an advantage with those points. So if you spend yeah, them well, too you early... you just gave something away. Uh, well, no, they know that, right? Like, they, they know. They're, that's already every, been told. Every time? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, okay, mo most times. Most times. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the advantage sucks. Sometimes. Sometimes. Occasionally. Chill and Yeti. Yeah. True silver. Spelling index looking pretty good. Kraken. Yep. Now the thing with Seal of Champions now is Fairy Dragon doesn't quite <laughs> do much with it. If he cures, he's gonna... Wow, okay. I was gonna say he's gonna need some, some more twos drops. A more twos. Oh, he's yeah. gonna get a good deck. Never mind that. Oh my god. That is toxic. Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this deck He's, is... Look at that smile, look at that smile. <laughs> the, sh the shocky smile is like, I think I'm breaking the okay, game he right needs here. a few more twos and like one muster, and then he has the best deck ever, right? Yeah, he's got a constructed deck. Keeper of Voldemort maybe is a one of. Uh, that Boulder Fist is pretty pretty sweet. Yeah. Pretty sweet card. Um, that's a bit clunky, but... You can always do a lot Tester's with fine. just big minions. Yeah, exactly. It's like a slightly worse Boulder Fist, and if it ends up working, you're, you're in a great spot. Hmm... Yeah. yeah, what else, right? Yeah. What else? Silverback can be... Well, we've seen a lot of Silverbacks do work in... Magma the... Rager or No Balls, right? Uh, well, it's going to be pretty good with a new 3-drop for Pally, right? What's the new 3-drop? The thing that gives Divine Shield to 1 health minions. Oh. Yeah. It's still not good. It's amazing. Okay. Sure. So he has no secrets yet for the mad scientist. There's an option for a secret here, but yeah, obviously it doesn't work. It's um, wow, another scientist. No, actually... Okay, I think you don't really have the choice yeah, here. Yeah. It's not really. Oh, oh wow. Oh, King's really good too, though. That's tough though. These three picks are pretty good. Like the two drops for his curve let him get a really good steal, but the keeper really negates any big threats late game. So that's probably one of your best picks, no matter what. It's hard oh, to yeah, say yeah, no. Yep, yeah, more four drops. Why not? He needs twos though. He needs twos. Um, with Mustard, like Warhorse Trainer is pretty sweet, but another Bluegill really he could take Redemption. Yeah, I like I like Redemption. It's a pseudo two drop, right? Like if you play it properly, it can just bring back a two drop to life. All right, I can I can get behind that. One more card. Good. All right, Alarm about or no balls. Yeah, there's nothing to bring out really with the bot in this deck. Like big drops late game. So lay on hands at the top of the curve is pretty interesting. Oh, we have to watch him draft one more deck. No, he's already done everything. He's got mage, rogue, and do, uh, he did three. Rogan. Yeah, we did three. I think he's gonna throw the rogue. Oh, out. we're the best. I think he's. I think <laughs> we got through that so fast. Only we could do that. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> so Shockey's gonna probably throw the rogue out. That's my guess. Like the rogue deck with all the five drops looked like the worst of everything he yeah, had. Yeah, the Paladin deck's the best. Yeah, and mage. I, I mage actually okay. realized there was a third one. Yeah. Oh, the one that looked like a Temple Mage. Yeah. I remember. Shockey's good. Wow. Well, Trump drafted that one, but. Yeah. Oh, that's why I thought it was Trump. Yeah. So Trump drafted a really good mage deck for Shockey, and now Shockey drafted a good Paladin deck for Shockey, and the rogue deck that Shockey drafted for Shockey is gonna be thrown out. So now. I mean, according to the list, we were going to have Strife Crow next, but we didn't actually have Trump just now. I'm guessing maybe they're drawing at random. That, cause it seemed like Trump was supposed to go next, right? So my assumption is they're probably going to play the matches one at a time. Okay, yes, we're going to have Zelay versus Shockey starting right now. So you guys don't have to sit oh. through a ton of drafts. Oh, um, that's cool. That's pretty good. So good to know, guys. We'll have some matches coming right up with the two, uh, the two players. Zelay is kind of forced to pick his two decks. Um, I'd say Shockey has the edge. Based on the decks that he's got. Yeah, he even gets to eliminate one based on what he thinks is good against. Yeah. His opponent. The rogue just sucks, though. His yeah, rogue yeah, is just yeah. meh. Well, I was lacking some uh, early game. We, we had, as you can see, we don't have any uh, Headset. headsets or anything, so we don't we don't know what's going on out there. Yeah, yeah like it, it, <laughs> we're just we're just blindly commentating until like something happens. Like, That's all right though. We can so, talk about know, random stuff. It might be it might be fifteen minutes. It might be one minute. Let me. We have no idea when it's going to start. Yeah. But. Well, Thing is, it's uh, it's a low budget tournament, you know. They it's a small indie team. Uh, yeah. They're developing a tournament scene. They're doing a great for job here. Stone. I mean, it's a it's a game that doesn't have much of a tournament scene. So honestly, I think it's a good step forward for the future of the game. Wow. Yeah. See, I mean, we had to sleep in this bed together. Oh, yes. Wake up and commentate <laughs> with this microphone. What is that? No, you should. Not only do you do you, you know you don't you don't just show that you have. <laughs> Yep. Yep. It's a hard life. And we should just tilt the camera down a little. Oh, are you saying it's uh, not it's no. not frame properly? Oh, production value. Fix it, Noxious. Noxious, fix it. What, what are we done? Noxious. It's a, it's a little like different Til than it was before. There's more okay, bed. Dude. There's more bed in the frame. Okay, wait. Too much bed. Do they have a camera? A little it's software? It's right there. Fix it. I can't do it. Uh oh. The technology is not there we're yet. Breaking wait. everything. Yeah, it's cool. Here we go. We can, we can do this. Right? We have no idea when they're gonna play. What if they're playing right now and we just don't see it? Oh, what that's not my problem. What if we're dude? commentating to nobody. Okay. That's possible, right? What if we're not streaming? A lot of what ifs in the world. Yeah. What if? You gotta put your eggs. We've been uh, dreaming this whole time. We're about to wake up in Amaz's bed. Reminds me of that uh, Wolfenstein monologue. Have you ever seen? Like, have you played the game? The I played it as a little kid. No, no, yeah. like the new Wolf, not the, not no, the no, old one. I, play, I played it as a little kid. Dude, that thing was so yeah. sick back then, right? It was really yeah, good. Yeah, and Doom. Doom yeah. was good. That was scary. I didn't sleep. Yeah. They're, but, bring, they're bringing those games back, huh? Yeah. Well, the new one, Wolfenstein, there was like a monologue about consciousness and sleep and how, what if you've been sleeping this whole time and you're not you when you wake up? Wow. It's pretty good. That's deep. Yeah. It's so deep, I need scuba gear. It's so, so deep, I can't, I can't even see you anymore. Uh, wait, yeah. we messed this up. It has to turn this way. Has it, it has to turn now? Yeah. God damn it. Wreckful. Why did I break the whole setup? I don't know. We had a really good thing yeah. going on. There we go. There we go. We had a no, good thing going on. Over there. Over there. I can't do it. There we go. We're good. This wire is way too big. We fixed everything. <laughs> oh, man. Because so I got a mouse and uh, a microphone. So he was telling me he used to weigh 230 pounds. So, I thought that was really hard to believe. Yeah. Look at this little guy. Well, I, I regained some weight. You know, no, I was 120 at some point, so I had lost like a ton. You're still really skinny. No, not that skinny. Yeah, really skinny. Like Where skinnier than admirable, but probably like more, more than dog. Starting. Say what? You should tell us when the game's starting. Okay, so apparently uh, we have to cut to a quick break because the players need to get ready, guys. So we'll be cutting to a quick break before we go. A little shout out to Fanatic Gear for sponsoring the event, of course. And, Thanks, uh, Fanatic Gear. Yes, of course. So we've got a Fanatic mouse pad. Wow. Fanatic mouse. Maybe they're going to give us Fanatic Gear. Yeah, I hope so. So yeah. we'll be right back, guys. Probably. Game's gonna be starting soon. Hi, guys. All right. So, um, so this is the first event. So, um, let's start with Dog. Um, who do you think is drafting as a favorite? Are we looking at the draft? Uh, yeah, yeah. Chalky. Okay. Yeah, you got three drafts. You, you got like a uh, Rogue Mage and uh, Paladin. That's true. And how do you think the um, last 10 cards are going to affect people? Is it going to be a challenge for you? Zelay, like, he picks so well. Uh, in those last 10, he's like, yeah. gambling on it. And he picks so well. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Um, obviously, it won't be a problem for Orange. 
because he paid 1,500 points. Now, Orange, do you think 1,500 points is a lot over the grand course of the of J? Do you wish you can, um, you know, flash track and refund it and just draft one? I have no clue. It sounds like you told him in the rules. <laughs> so, Come on, it's how's the right? Okay. Yeah, and by the way, why did you take the deal? I feel like I got the mic. Yeah. It, was, it was a fair. I took the deal. I was the, 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 the mic. I'm all around. It's not muted. It's just uh, very. Well, mic might be muted, but we so did the so interview so anyways. Let's go back to the cast <laughs> and then the game should be Oh, wait, 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 what? Mic muted. It's us. You just got some money. away and I had no idea. Back to us. Yep, as always, which um, is good. You ready? The games are starting soon. Ready to see some crazy arena draft I'm action. super excited. Yes. I can't wait. I can't wait for the swell matchup to it's come the up. the best day of my life. Yes. It's a Friday. It is. Feeling good. TGIF. Just had some green tea. You know? I got a JS Unraveler of Secrets from Amaz. Gave me the card for free. We're gonna go, uh... It's a mythic. Oh, you know what I was thinking? What? Hearthstone should actually print physical cards, not even to play with, but just... Just to collect, yeah. Yeah, yeah, people will buy them. Yeah, like, for the sure. thing is, uh, Blizzard doesn't want to because they want to do it right if they ever do it. Because we know Blizzard likes to do things right. Yeah, but they... <laughs> yeah, but they can, uh... <laughs> okay. I mean, they were... They, they printed cards once before, the WoW to TC. Yeah, the old ones. I have, uh, I had a lot of them. They don't have print cards. They do, yeah. It's pretty simple, actually. You guys should do it. A lot if of cards. If you're listening, print some cards. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm gonna print them myself it's and sell like them. People are just gonna throw rags around and Tyrions and stuff, and you like Pog Champ. Yeah. <laughs> Bam! Start up the yeah. rag. It actually could work. Yeah. I could see that. And then maybe at some point you'll be able to somehow play. Well, some people have printed their own collections, but they suck, right? Like they look, they look. It's just, it's, it's not professional. It's not the real thing. It's hard to play because, for example, like when you unleash the hounds, then you need a bunch of hound cards. Too. Yeah, well, you, you can just take like. Like, I don't know, like Skittles or something? Like, you just- each Skittle is a hound? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, it would work as a proxy method. Because, like, if you have to literally really have a card for everything, um, you'll never be done. Yeah. It would- it would make what, sense. What if someone saps one of your hounds? Then you have a Skittle in your hand like this, you're just, like, holding your cards and you got holding a Skittle right here? You know? You could have, like, a Skittle credit I mean? cheat. You just, like, how many Skittles in your hand? Alright. No one's ever sapping the hound, I guess. So Nobody fine. does. <laughs> <laughs> if, they, if they do, they're, they're already lost. Um, although they could combo, right? Like, they sap wow. to trade with the combo, and then they eviscerate your face. Wow. And then for that one moment before you die, you, you, you have a you Skittle in your hand. Your hand really, you want to play that Skittle, you drop it, you got to pick it up, there's a hair on it. You know, then after you play, <laughs> also you're, you're wondering if you should still eat the Skittle. Yeah. It's like... And you can, if you can force the opponent to eat it, then you deal more damage to them. you got to fix this. Yeah. You know? Print hounds, basically, yeah. what we're saying. That's what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that entire conversation was because you showed this this card. But for real though, I really think they should have a physical uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. medium for, of. For uh, it would actually make like the whole collectibles part of Hearthstone a lot cooler. Because right now, what have we got? Like glasses. We've had glasses for like a year and a half. Like the little Hearthstone. Yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. There's a mug. Okay, they've got a mug and and glasses. Um, yeah. People so, will buy them. Yeah. We, Speaking we of want, which, we want five percent for thinking of it. Uh, I don't know if you. They it, thought of it already. Yeah. You think? They thought of it at some point. Someone. Yeah, but it, like the technology is pretty. It's pretty tough printing. No, but maybe they assume they if they're gonna print cards, then they should be playable. No, but they don't have to be. Yeah, they don't like they could literally print them even bigger size, so they're not even like practical to use. Yeah, I don't even care. Like they could just be, literally, huge cards. Like the the ones you have in MTG, like Commanders, they're just massive. So apparently Come the game was foil. supposed to start, really but cool I got foil. I got Skamaz. The game was supposed to start, but. Mm. We got, we got... What's play to win? Uh, Rand win Ren. To share. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's a good deck. Mm. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you excited about uh, Yogg's Ron? Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to commentate those kind of cards. When it actually happens, someone drops it on me, and then, like, a bunch of power blasts go off or something, you know, I'd be upset. But if I watch some guy drop Yogg's Ron, and somehow three power blasts go face... That'd be hilarious, you know, I'd love that. It, it, would, it would feel good, it's kind of like when the Shredder drops a Doomsayer for somebody in an event. You kind of laugh at it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why commentating is awesome. And that's why I was really sad that I couldn't commentate for a while. Because I said a bad word. <laughs> you did not. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to never say a bad word again. Yeah? Yeah? You know, we look kind of similar, I just realized. Look at that. I feel like people can believe we're brothers or something, look. Right? If we try hard enough, yeah, maybe. No. 
Damn. I just need to get my tap racer skills up a little bit. You're really fast. I, I didn't know you ever had a fast score. Uh, 196, that's crazy. When I was very young, though, like, I feel like the thing is, writing in, Engli writing in English is really bad for me. Like, because I, French is my main language. So whenever I write in English, the keyboards, to have the right setup, like the whole, uh, you know, control backspace. Yeah. Like that, that just, in French, I feel it's more, like, it's easier to cue the accents with it. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, it's weird. So if you guys don't know, if you, if you check out Type Racer, then if you look at all-time fastest typists, I'm on there. He did it. Yeah. Uh, 188 average word pretty per good. minute. Yeah. Because the thing is, he closes whenever he doesn't reach. Like, <laughs> the, the trick is control W as soon as everything sucks, or you just, like, put the refresh Yeah, my button. real average is only 149. But then it, it says 188. It says 188, which is the important part. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's so. pretty good. I like that. Yeah. But you know, I know the tricks. That's, that's, how you get the, that's how you get the ladies, though, you know, like... Check my words per minute, yo. You know what I'm saying? I got really, really quick fingers. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Okay. I hope everything's appropriate so far. I don't know. I feel like Zelay and Shockey should have been playing for a while now. Um, <sighs> but they're not. Okay, let's pretend they're playing. Okay, so turn one. Uh, Shockey puts up his redemption. He's a paladin. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. turn one, South Sea deckhand from, from Zelay. From okay. Zelay. Okay, so then... Turn two. Mini Sh bot. Shaki had the luckiest draw after yeah. he drops a mini bot. Yeah. Okay, so Zelay's like, there's no way that's actually redemption. And he hits it with his dagger. And then trades the two trace, one. And, and then it's, it's redemption. Bonds, and then he presses concede. Yeah. Okay. One zero Shaki. Yeah. Okay, next game. Shaki opens up with <laughs> Lepernome. <laughs> okay. Lepernome. Lepernome. And then wow. Zelay is playing Rogue again. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he coins out a dagger, attacks wow. a leprono. Okay. And then Sorcerer Apprentice comes down. Oh no. And then Zelay's like, he oh, doesn't fuck. have backstab. Yeah, he, he doesn't have backstab in it. Then he's just oh, like, there we go. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, so what we were commenting is actually, it might happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he just needs to get redemption. Oh no, if Shocky gets it. I don't think he will, though. He's on the coin. Okay, I'll be, I'll be very impressed if Zelay wins. Because Shocky's yeah. Paladin deck is amazing. It's disgusting. It's really good. So one of the things to keep in mind is that Paladin usually ends up just winning outright if they have enough of those four drops that end up swinging the game, uh, one way or the other. Uh, and Shaki has two True Silvers, one Consec, and a really decent early game. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> no way. There's no way. Wait, that's crazy. Like, okay, but there's not a South Sea deck yeah. in, but we were close. Close enough. Yeah. Look, chat. We, we told you. Are you impressed? Yeah, Redemption are you, Turn 1! Are you guys impressed? Yeah, come on. We almost had this. Didn't even have to see. Now come wow. on, you you mad bomber your we, own guy to play death. entire games of Hearthstone without even looking. Yeah, well I don't have to. I did a blindfolded one. Wow. Yeah, I got like uh, one three in arena because the guy conceded because I couldn't find the end turn button. <laughs> well, looks like mini bot will come down with the exact sequence we we planned for. Yeah. Very good foresight from us. Oh, oh man, Zelay is not gonna believe this. He's gonna shatter sun trade. Yeah, probably. He's gonna be upset. We yep. must and then it's gonna kill his 3 2. And then. Concede. He's mad. Yeah, I would be mad too. He's like, what? How? And <laughs> look! <laughs> exactly what we said would happen! Yeah, and like, you've got the even the Argent Protector, right? Like, you kill the 3 2, then you play the Protector, you're still good to go. Oh, man. Although, maybe you'd consider playing Saboteur to prevent the redaggering. But then you let him play a 4 drop into this. Um. I mean, I don't even mind just the um, the earthen ring because what happens is you're still very mana efficient. You put on a bigger Stopping body, him from exactly. Yeah, so you do end up with a better. Now, uh, now he'll two two into the three three and play. dagger that. He could also RNG his way to the win with that mad bomber, right? Like if you trade the three into the three three and the mad bomber, yeah, hits you know perfectly, what? I like that. You gotta recognize when you're behind. Don't hit. <laughs> Oh no! I think Farseer doing so much actually, work, man. He was gonna kill the Farseer anyway. Yeah. Now the two one's gonna kill the three two, so the Mad Bomber did nothing. But the Erden Ring did a lot of work healing the two one. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Zola is now considering the meaning of life. Now, you know what he's actually considering? Just min maxing and daggering the two one instead of instead the three of one. the three one. Yeah. And he's gonna do it. I kind of like that because that way you end up taking one less damage since you expect the trade to take place. But all the min maxing in the world won't stop him. Because Argent Protector, he's got the the forest on his watch. Now there's a, I think there's a fan of knives in Zelay's deck, right? If I recall correctly, which could uh, possibly get him into a good spot. Okay, so he's just gonna play down the biggest minion he's got. Oh, he has two assassinates. So yeah, I'll draw that. 
There's a. He wanted something that, to be on the board. He actually drew fingers. Well, but okay. Doesn't do anything. He wanted something to be on the board to Kodo there. Yeah, that would have been good. If the protector had been played, the uh, the Kodo would have been great. Now we're gonna have a true silver probably, but the four six already does deal with the four four. So maybe I like not. the five six here. You coin out the uh, yeah, Jaster. yeah, I like it too. He's got a few big minions. He's got a Kraken, I think, and a Force Tank he max. Do it. So he okay. Could he's gonna find... go with that. On my watch. He's better tank. Does he play around betrayal? He does. Pro. Yep. Now. The Kodo. He's just gonna slam a six six maybe. Uh, yeah, six six is better than Kodo if you're hoping to trade like with multiple minions. But I think the Kodo sets up a good fan of knives as the spider tank attacks into it. Hmm. We know if the 6-6 six, six comes down, it's going to be the 2-2 two, two and the true silver killing it, and then there won't be a Kodo target anymore, so Kodo is good, but... He's look, hoping... 6-6 six, six looks good. 6-6 six, six looks good. Yeah, he's hoping he's going to trade very now, efficiently. Yeah, because that 4-6 that looks juicy, but then bam, true silver comes out, and that's yeah. the game. It's always like, is this constructed? Yeah, it's... That's going to be pretty much it. Well, it's not over. The the, the not, golem can do a ton of work. It's not. It's just it's gonna be hard to come back from this, right? Sure. Yeah. But Zelay has assassinates. If he if he gets both like back to back, like you play war golem, then you pick up like assassinate, and you play it with Thorn Warrior, that buys you an extra turn. Then the you thing pick is, up the second true silver is so good because he's gonna war even if he war golems and if he even if he trades into it with let's say spider tank and his true silver and he gets to develop a minion at the same time, then you can see already that he's not gonna be able to come back from that, right? Yeah, the damage will mount up. We I didn't catch the corruptor draft. I, I don't remember that. Undefeated. Yeah, if he had had a dragon there, it would have been lethal. And because it would have been fifteen yeah. plus three. Yeah. If Twi Drake had been in the hand, right? Yeah. So I guess at this point you just kind of ignore the seven seven. Yeah. Because I mean, even either if way, NC Tech comes out, like, would have to come out with ignore it or kill it. He's gonna really touch spot either way. But this is nice because he, even if he full clear the board, yeah, he has true silver to kill him. So you need to taunt up even with if, that torn warrior. I wonder if uh, Chucky has any more dragons. Just doesn't really matter. But I'm just curious. Yeah, he's got two drakes. Okay. No. Or was that like his oh, rogue deck? Oh, that was the the rogue deck that he threw out. I think. Has Azure Drake. Yeah, that was the, the, the deck pick, where first he pick uh, in the rogue deck. right. Well, Shockey's deck, I don't think, has any more dragons from what we've seen, but it's got pretty much the uh, the nuts as far as the... Like, of the decks that we've seen, I think that is the best deck that came out of the the five ones that were drafted across these two players. Alright. Bam. Yeah, Paladin pretty much did what we expected. Redemption, well, see, you see the benefit of the Amaz points here a bit, though, because Shockey wouldn't have gotten to draft that Paladin deck at right. all, Had it not except been, he, yeah. he paid for a third draft. So, pay to win. Yeah, actually. Wow. A must should be hired by Blizzard. See that? I like so that. Oh, Chucky only spent 500 Amaz points on that? Yeah, he was the first one to call like the, the, the purchase. Okay. And the first player to, to, to buy it paid only 500. The second player thousand, paid 1,000 and then 1,500. 1500. Wow. So we'll see how that's going to go. We see here that Zelay is going to be replaying his rogue, and Chucky is going to go for the mage, which looked a lot like a tempo mage um, with the amount of spells that he had in there. Wait, is Chucky playing the player at the bottom there? Yes. So he's playing rogue? Because uh, I saw an assassin yes. in there. Yep, he's a rogue. Wait, so that is he's not playing mage then? Yep. Okay. Oh, we do see mage as the portrait on the left. Yeah, huh? never mind me. Okay, um... A little confused. So that mage on the left is a rogue. Everybody. But a pole stomper was picked by Shalki, is what I remember. So I think they just flipped the portraits. I think Puddle Stomper was Oh, maybe playing. there is a mage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Shockey's playing the deck at we the just... top there. Pit Fighter, Puddle Stomper, Mad Bomber. That was all in there. I think they just flipped the characters around. Unless... Now we see. Okay, there. Yep. Okay, it's so Shockey's playing mage. Okay. 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 We lied. Yeah, we lied. But, you know, the portrait's still wrong. Because it's Medivh, it's not Medivh. Jaina. Yeah. Wow. Production value. Wow, guys. So, who would you give the edge to in the, the matchup, I would say? Oh, this one, is good, this one can actually shocked. go either way, which is cool. Yeah. See, the last one was a little more skamaz. Zolid didn't play the uh, South Sea deck hand on turn one. The thing that playing the one drop does is it really forces the mage into awkward spots. 
because um, you're putting him on for like you're forcing him to wait to use his hero power very often, and he can't play just a straight up two drop into it. All right. Just take this time to thank yeah our sponsors here. Yeah, Fnatic, Fnatic here, here. In the bottom Twitch. right. Twitch. Maybe well. someone's watching on YouTube in the future. You're from the future. <laughs> nice job, Shocky. Oh wait, that was Zelay. Zelay is a lucky Zalea. guy, dude. Look at him laughing. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> you know, this, this laugh is the laugh of the guy who just lost his character on Hardcore in like Path of Exile. He he's an easygoing guy. He just he's just chilling all the time. I'm sure if you analyze the brainwaves, that laughter is more like excruciating pain. Hey, maybe not. Maybe he enjoys it on some level. He's like, okay, I can see that. No, because it gives you validation. It's like I'm I'm unlucky. That's it's why not I'm my lost. fault. Yeah, it's <laughs> not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, that's basically what Shucky does in tournaments, right? Wait. Does the person who loses have to eat the... The nasty jelly belly? Is that how it works? I... I didn't hear him. No, that was for the that was for the next part. It was for like the okay, later... Okay, they have to eat like puke flavored jelly bean. Yeah, but okay. they don't know it's puke flavored. I think. Oh, I think it's like a random one and... Oh no, the BM! Well, almost, Shocky. You're you gonna have to coin that out. You're gonna have to coin that Word. out. Still good. And now the thing is the Shredder for Justice needs to bring out a totem golem. Oh man, it has to. Well, I might play the maiden. I might he, play the yeah. It trades if super well. That, you know, okay. If he the mad bomber had hit twice there, and he ends up playing the maiden, then the coin would have been a big deal because he could have coined Kodo. Coined out, yeah. Co coining Kodo against that four drop would have been crazy. Can you imagine? So, wow. Yeah. Too bad Shocky didn't have RNGs on his side. Well, sometimes you know you do get redemption as a starter card into mini bot in yeah. arena. The evil heckler here, it's kind of like the Booty Bay bodyguard, but a lot better. I think in Arena, a lot of people think Yeti is just straight up better than Heckler, but there's a lot of spots where your Heckler is just better at ending games faster because it lets you curve up the tempo uh, a little bit quicker. So Yeti is easier to heal in some decks or, you know, get multiple value out of, but the Heckler can just win games because you just go phase. Hmm. I don't know what you're going to do here if you're... Uh, Delay, there's like well, no real alternative, right? Like probably gonna brute and defy his assistant yeah. the most stuff on the board before AoE tur turns can come out. Yeah. Because he's probably assuming there's flame strikes. Kodo! Unless you got to see the draft. Let's do this. So you, you trade the 3 2 into the 2 2, the 5 4 into the 2 1, and then you Kodo the 2 2, the 2 6. Or do you not play for value and wait? Because there's a lot of merit to just going full retard and then playing like Ethereal Conjurer. I like, I like the Kodo. Okay. Good stuff. Feels good, man. Yeah. Not for Zelay. <laughs> for everybody but Zelay, it feels pretty good right now. Cult Master is <laughs> with an Ogre Brute that you're not sure is going to die. Uh. Yeah, if the Ogre Brute hits face or that 3 5. Uh oh. Here we go. Ah, oh. oh, nicely done. What is he not? What why, did Zelay, he why, why didn't Zelay get unlucky? Well, occasionally fortunate, right? You do have to sometimes get lucky. Now, if Ethereal Conjure brings out like Arcane Missiles and kills a Cult Master, how salty do you think Zelay will get? Or even Stealth Slinger, right? Arcane Blast. Yeah, a lot of stuff could come out. Here we go. Oh, never mind. Uh, he's gonna use. Can you? Yeah. I hate when they go with the safe play. I don't like it, but it's I mean, I understand it's his tournament life, right? Like Shocky needs to win a tournament, and this is the moment to do so, right? Yeah. It's the time of his life. Yeah, he cosplayed as Trump. Every, everything's looking everything's good. looking good for Shocker looking, right looking now. Looking great right now. He's got a, an alligator on his shirt. Oh God! The Belcher is gonna die. This doesn't feel good. Yeah, it doesn't feel good at all. I, I feel like at this point he's hoping to just get into the Kraken turn and swing the tide in his favor. Um, but it's gonna be like really difficult either way. He's got a good turn eight at least, right? At least a decent turn eight. Yeah, so in trouble though. What's your play here? Like, do you play conjurer? Do you play the the pit fighter with a ping? I like the conjurer. Conjure is the most fun. <laughs> pit fighter is the safest again. Back to because the thing is, it plays around betrayal. Nobody which, likes fun, huh? Well, it's all about fun. There's like eight damage on board. Yeah. And you've got to play gonna everything you got. And shredder. Yep. It's his last hope. The, yeah, cra the Kraken's his last hope of a comeback. I mean, what if Spellslinger gives shot like uh, gives Zelay an out? Spellslinger giving like Tree of Life. 
<laughs> the justice. What's the craziest thing you could get from the spell slinger? Uh, actually, what if spell slinger gives us simple portal shocky? Just has a, a doomsayer, and then yeah, he can't kill it. And he, has, he develops the void. I could see that, but, but I, I don't know if shocky is going to start trading though. He's right? not going to trade. Yeah, there's almost and that frost nova. I mean, on turn eight, like how do you not just smork and nova? Nova smork seems really fun. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty broken. Here actually. we go. Fun. And he's gonna he's gonna crack in the six three, but he's dead, so he's gonna concede. Unless he draws something. He, you could crack in your own doomsayer and find like vitality totem. But you're still dead. He's still dead. Oh, oh taunt. Uh, uh, it doesn't change. He's still dead. He's dead. Wait, could you count on Shocky BMing? Ever? Like does well, Shocky ever BM you? If, if he had the Nazdormu here. He could do the strat where you Nizdormu. That's right. And then you distract your opponent by saying something. Yeah, you just say, hey man, like look at look at me right now. That was that was a fancy way to kill himself. I like that. I like that, yeah. Um prep of this after playing an eye drop. That was honorable. So 2-0 for Shocky. It's actually pretty tough. Zelay really had like no chance. I feel like that paladin deck just locked him out. Well, he could have spent Amaz points. Yeah. He had a better deck, maybe. Yeah, but he, he knew what Skamaz deals usually entail, and uh, he didn't take the risk. Uh, he's a lot more familiar with Skamaz tactics than Shaki. Shaki was taking a risk, I think. Mm. But it paid off. So, we have an interview with Mira, apparently. Yes. Shaki's going to get interviewed. Uh, and then... Let's let's just guess who he's gonna play because we don't have headphones or anything. I, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say Trump. Probably gonna be Trump versus Strife Pro. Yeah. I'm gonna up. I'm gonna say Trump versus Admirable. Huh. I, I want to see somebody who picked um, the event, the Skamaz deal. So we've got Orange and Admirable. Okay, right? tr Trump and Admirable. Yeah, I want to see that. So that's gonna be uh, pretty good. That being said, guys, we'll take a short break before we go. A little shout out to Fanatic Gear, right? The mouse pads and everything. So uh, yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> 